pets. Pets are an integral part and necessary part of Hypixel Skyblock. They greatly affect your damage and let you do a bunch of different things. Without pets, quite frankly, dungeons would be impossible. A bunch of things just would not be possible without the use of pets. They're one of the biggest parts of the game, arguably. Now, recently there's been a lot of expensive pets updated. Now, I'm sure the first one you think of is probably going to be the Golden Dragon, because this pet is so expensive. It costs like a billion, 600 million coins to buy a tier 1 version, and tier 2 goes to like 1.2 billion. However, this is no longer the most expensive pet in the game. Reason for this being is because of a new mining pet released or found out about within the past 20 or so days. This is the Scatha pet. And I'll be showing you how to get this pet if you want to, because it has potential to make a bunch of money. First off, the pet, a legendary version of this pet, goes for 1.2 million coins. And this is tier boosted. If you get a natural legendary Scatha pet, it will go arguably for up to 2 billion coins. Now, I don't know, I don't think there's ever been a legendary, a pure legendary Scatha pet. However, I'm unsure. Whole point is, if you get this legendary pet, you instantly become a billionaire. Like, 1.8 billion, I would say, for a untier boosted pet, considering how much it goes for with Ender Dragons. Because considering a... Because considering a tier boosted Ender Dragon, it goes for... Tier boosted Ender Dragon goes for level... 70-ish goes for 365 million and a on tier boosted ender dragon pet goes for 630 million i think it is pretty reasonable to say that a legendary space scava pet will go for 1.8 billion coins or higher now how do you actually get this pet first you have to travel to the crystal hollows which means you need heart of the mountain three now, this pet is very hard to get. It has a big aspect of RNG. So, in order to get this Scatha pet, you need to go to the Crystal Hollow, and it comes from Mining Hearthstone. Now, this has a lot of different specifications for it and rules that you need to follow if you want to get this pet. First off, when mining, eventually if you mine in a straight line like this, you will hear some sounds and the text box in chat saying a, you hear a worm sound or something along those lines behind you. Now, the reason, Scatha is so hard to get for a few reasons. First off, you must dig in a two block hole for a chance to have a spawn a worm or Scatha pet. Now you have to dig quite a lot with like using one full use of the Pycnombus. I want to say I got four or three worms, meaning it's every thousand or two thousand blocks you get a worm. Now, that's not even how you get the Scatha pet. If you look in the Beastie Ever collection, we can see that in the deep caverns, we have the worm. Now, the worm is a level five mob that doesn't really drop anything useful. However, the Scatha pet has a bunch of good, good drops. The issue with the Scatha pet is... It is, is 5 to 10 times more unlikely to spawn than a worm pet. Meaning, you're probably going to need to use like 2 full, I'm using pick novices for this example. You're probably going to need to mine like 5 to 10,000 blocks to get a Scatha. Then, from there, from there you have a 0.1% chance to drop a rare Scatha. You have a 0.04% chance to drop an ep epic Scatha. And a 0.01% chance to drop a legendary Scatha. Now, you can see why this is low. Let's just say that you're guaranteed to get a rare Scatha every 100 Scathas you actually mine up. Let's also say that it takes you about... I would say it takes you about 20 to 30, maybe 40 minutes to get a single Scatha. So it takes a lot of work. However, if you get the Scatha pet, you're rich. So I'm going to be mining for like 10-15 minutes. So, I'm going to be mining- oh, I just realized I have a Pycnombus there. I'm going to be mining until this Pycnombus breaks in a straight line to see how much I actually get. Like, drop-wise, how much worms, how much Scathas, if I got anything good from it. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. But first, if you are doing this, I have to say, if you get the RNG drop, you are rich. You become a billionaire. If you get the legendary escape the drop, you become, like, so wealthy. Because you can talk to people and people will pay you big, big money for the escape the pet. Now, Skate the Pet Legendary, Base Legendary, is so rare, only a few people have it. Or a faction has one of them, and I don't know who else has one of them, but I'm sure other people do. So, this is a very rare pet to get. Either way, I'm going to be mining until this pickaxe breaks. I'll tell you how long I've mined for and how much drops I get. So, let's get into the montage. Alright, so you just saw footage of me mining and fully breaking my pick numbers 2000. I might have added some more footage. I don't know if I did this because it's kind of enjoyable just mining straight like while like, watching a YouTube video. Kind of actually kind of fun. But either way, I mined for about 15 minutes. It was really only like 12 minutes of mining because I was chatting with a friend, Chris. But as you can see, I got two Skathas and one Worm. Now getting two Skathas is pretty lucky. Usually, I would say you would have only gotten about like one, maybe two. Usually, only like one, maybe not even one Skatha, but and you would have gotten the worms, a lot more worms instead of Skathas. However, still, so point being, I generally speaking find that I get three to four worms slash Skathas with every single pick number I mine, which is about 15 minutes for me. Now, if I have had my higher mining speed, then it would go quicker. However, I'm kind of poor. I mean, I'm going to buy another one because I'm going to do it eventually again. But with the pick numbers, I've got like 2.5 thousand mining speed, which I could have more. But still, point being, this is a very powerful money making method if you are able to get the Skatha pet. If you're not, it's still good, but it's not really as good. As you can see, I made about... I made still made 200,000 coins in 15 minutes. Which, by all means, is not that bad. I mean, that's about, like, a mil an hour with a chance to get a 1.2 bill. Like, that's not bad. It's not spectacular, but it's not that bad. So, what I recommend doing this in the end? If you enjoy doing it, do it. If you find this is a grind and it gets super boring, don't do it. But if you kind of enjoy it, which I think is kind of fun just mining a straight line occasionally, then I would suggest that you do it. Now, you don't have to do it, but, like, it has a potential to make a good amount of money. Something else that you can do, which I'm not going to tell you my opinions on, and you can have your own opinions on, is if you wanted to save more money, instead of having to buy new pick nemesis, you get it down to like 100 and then sell it to um, AH for a zero or one use one for like 200k. But that's your opinion on if you want to do that or not. Either way, point is, you can make, you have the potential to make a shit ton of money mining and doing this method. And without further ado, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.